If you clicked on this video to learn about the Magnetic Mask in Final Cut Pro, then you are in the right place. Now maybe you've tried the Magnetic Mask, or you've been avoiding it because it seems so complicated. But honestly, the Magnetic Mask is super simple. What it does is it sticks to the object that you're trying to mask out so you don't have to go over every single detail while masking out an object. I'm sure you've seen other creators do this and it makes your videos so much cooler and it's super easy to do. And I'm going to show you five practical ways to use the mask to make your videos so much more professional. The first practical way is to add text behind your subject. Simply add the magnetic mask and select the areas that you want to block the text, have it analyzed, hit done, and then just make sure the text is underneath your clip in the timeline. Now what if you could be in two places at once? The second tip is to clone yourself. Record yourself twice, mask out one layer, and boom, twin versions of you in the same frame. Being able to spotlight your subject is super important in videos, which is why this next tip is all about separating your subject from the background. With the magnetic mask, you can select your subject and then make edits just to your subject. So you can color grade, things like that. Or if you invert the mask, you can edit everything that's not the subject. So you can blur the background, you can change the color of the background. There really are a ton of practical ways to use this in your videos, and it's really gonna dial up the value of the videos that you make. And there you go, it looks as if you shot with a shallow depth of field. Do you want your clips to smoothly transition together? Well, with the magnetic mask, it makes it way easier. And I'm gonna show you a cool transition that you can do with the magnetic mask. Find the clip that you wanna transition, go about 20 frames in and cut using the blade tool. Use the magnetic mask and select the object you want. Put that clip over top the previous clip and add a transition to the masked clip. Extend it the whole length of the clip and then add a custom generator underneath and you're all set. Big shout out to Ryan Angle for this one. And have you ever wished that you can film in outer space? I know it's a little far and kind of hard and you probably don't have the means to film in outer space, which is why when you mask out your subject and change the background, it makes it so that you can film in outer space. And this one is super simple. You just mask out your subject and then put a different background beneath this clip in your timeline. So which effect you're gonna do first? Are you gonna clone yourself? Are you gonna send yourself to outer space? Let me know in the comments. Leave a little like for other editors so that they can see this video and subscribe for more tutorials. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.